Hi, everybody. I'd like to welcome you to another episode of uh, Talking Timepieces. I'm Alex Palt, and uh, today we're going to talk about the Longines Conquest triple date moon phase. Now, um, Longines offers a triple date moon phase in their um, master collection as well. Uh, but I liked the idea of having the uh, triple date moon phase, which is normally considered a very um, posh complication in a sports watch. So I really like this. I used to have a Sin Sports uh, triple date moon phase, which I um, kind of regret selling, but I sold it. And um, this Longines triple date moon phase fits that role perfectly. It's a nice complication. It looks classy. And it's a sports watch, which means I get loom, I get uh, good water resistance, I get rugged uh, performance, and I get pretty good looks. So uh, let's zoom in and uh, take a quick look at the uh, watch close up. So here we have the uh, Longines Conquest uh, Classic Moon Phase. And um, this was introduced at Basel World in 2015 and was actually given to the winner of the uh, Triple Crown that year. It's a very beautiful interpretation of the uh, classic triple date moon phase. Here, let me adjust that so you can see the moon phase better. It's 50 meters water resistant. Uh, the crown is not a screw down crown, although it is, um, as I said, 50 meters water resistant, and it is a far more sporty presentation than the uh, Master Collection uh, Triple Date Moon Phase, which is the other Longines Triple Date Moon Phase, but that's more of a dress watch. This uh, has um, a beautiful presentation of a classic complication in a sports package. Now, um, the moon phase itself is beautiful gold, against a deep blue sky with uh, beautiful uh, gold stars and uh, which sets itself very well against the um, black and white face and it's an applied Longines uh, logo, the uh, wings, applied indices with uh, loom, loomed hands. It's actually a very um, nice uh, presentation as I was saying because you don't often see a triple date moon phase in a watch that you can uh, wear jeans and bang around uh, at the beach or uh, around a pool or uh, just play, you know, play golf or do something in uh, a watch that would normally be more comfortable in a suit. Now uh, we've got the uh, day on the track. You see the uh, crescent highlighting the day, the month, and the day of the week. We've got uh, running seconds for the uh, watch at the 9 o'clock with a 24-hour indication for uh, day-night. It is the um, Eta Made Caliber L678, uh, you could, but you can argue that it's all the same company, so uh, it's an in-house movement. You've got some very nice finishing here, some beautiful uh, perlage and Cote de Genève. And um, you can see the beautiful uh, balance wheel ticking away there. Um, some people ask about what Inca block is, that little gold spring on top of the balance wheel jewel is uh, what Inca block is. It's a spring system that allows the balance wheel to shift a little bit, to allows the jewel to shift a little bit in case of a shock, like banging against something or dropping it. And uh, it used to be very the, the thing when it came out, and it was actually written on the fronts of watches, um, but now everybody's got it. But uh, it's like seatbelts or airbags or something, you know, novel when they first came out, but now uh, everybody does it. But again, as I said, beautiful finishing. You've got some lovely uh, work in there. And in all, it's a great presentation of a beautiful watch. Now, let's do some quick uh, figures on it. Um, my new calipers. Uh, now I can actually make halfway decent measurements. Okay, so we've got it's about so it's about a 42 case, and uh, we've got a lug width of about let's see. So I would say if you go on the inside, it's probably about a 21, which is not 
the best um, spacing, 21 millimeters, but uh, it's not a terrible spacing um, if you're going to leave the uh, factory strap on it or bracelet on it. Um, if you have to look for an aftermarket, then yeah, 21 can be a problem because most uh, straps and NATOs come in uh, evens, 20, 22, 24. But uh, as I said, if you stick with the uh, actually quite nice strap, it's uh, brush center links, uh, you're in great shape. It's got a beautiful d double deployant, twin button. Um, you do need your half links and links because there is no micro adjustment of any kind. It's a nice presentation. It's a very comfortable bracelet to wear, uh, but it is not um, adjustable without having to literally change links. But it does come with half links and it uh, full links and the like. Now here, let's do a quick um, look on the wrist. Here, let's do a wristwatch check. I'm wearing my uh, Omega. Uh, annual calendar on uh, NATO. I like the way that it uh, dresses it down a bit. I also have the um, leather alligator strap for it uh, for when I want to dress it up. But um, for knocking around, NATO is great. As I said, that would make a little bit of a nuisance with this because you couldn't easily get a 21. They make 21 NATOs, but the, the uh, choice is uh, reduced. So let's take a quick look on the wrist. As I said, see, it sits, it sits very um, flat against the wrist. And it's got a really nice look. It sits nicely, smoothly. So even though it is a big watch, you could get a sleeve over it. You could wear it with a suit if you wanted to. And it's got a nice enough presentation that even though it is a sports watch, and I was just saying that, you know, you you're, uh, normally find this complication in a suit watch, this is a classy enough sports watch that you could wear it with a suit. So let's pull back out and uh, close this one out. So that was a close-up look at the uh, Longines Triple Date Moonface. Um, I really think it's a great watch. I think that uh, without the complication of Triple Date Moonface, it would be a great piece. It's also a chronograph, as I pointed out. So when you think about a beautiful, complex watch in a really nice sports uh, package, the Longines Conquest uh, Triple Date Moon Phase is definitely something worth looking into. Thanks. Have a great day.